Treating wastewater is a fairly complex task. You see a lot of rivers in India that are deeply polluted because wastewater is actually being dumped there instead of being treated. At the same time, 54% of India has very severe water scarcity. As fresh water gets depleted, wastewater is actually our only opportunity to source water locally. At Digital Pani, we've created an end-to-end -end life cycle management software, enabling every single facility to be managed with the best expertise, the best management systems possible. This is the blueprint for the future. My father's been in the water and sustainability space my entire life. That was a major influence on me always because we'd have a lot of dining table conversations around waste, around water, and around climate today. The water crisis is becoming extremely dire. Water is actually running out. At the same time, our infrastructure is not working. And so that's why we decided to start this company together. Water infrastructure is actually being decentralized now. And a lot of countries like India, for instance, have actually mandated this. Every new industrial facility, urban mid-sized building, all of them need to have these facilities going forward. Right now in India, there's almost 85,000 treatment facilities, but 75% of them are not able to operate properly. They're entirely manually managed. You have semi-skilled operators. They don't have the expertise. They don't have the knowledge. And given that these facilities will be the key to how water needs are met in the future, that's a major problem. Our platform is able to determine what any given facility needs in order to operate by just inputting some basic information about the facility. After that, we take in continuous data and all of this allows us to form a really holistic picture of what's going on. And then let's say any problem comes up. We'll actually then guide the exact workflows, provide the end-to-end -end training so that they're able to address the problem in the long term. For most of our customers, the recycled water that comes out can be used for a series of purposes. In fact, almost 65-70% of urban water needs can actually be met through wastewater. So you can use it for horticulture, flushing, even in the future for drinking water. We applied for the Urban Water Challenge because we saw it as a great opportunity to be able to demonstrate and deploy our technology. Being a finalist has given us a lot of mentorship, they've given us a lot of connections to other companies and investors globally, which has been very helpful. The pilot funding that we received from Urban Water Challenge has allowed us to expand to a new state and set a new precedent for how an entire state can actually be managing its wastewater. All of our facilities have gone from dysfunctional to 100% operational, meeting water quality requirements, and at the same time actually cut their costs 20 to 35%. In the long term, all of this is going to have a huge impact. We expect that in five years, we can actually be averting almost 200 million liters of wastewater from our land and waters every day. We see this as just the start.